again. I can't believe this. What are you talking about? I met these guys in Sweden, <clears throat> Stockholm, in the mid 90s. Me too! <laughs> um, coming out to record with my mentor and friend Dennis Pop. <laughs> He's no longer with us. Rest in peace. Um, I didn't know much about them. I've seen some clips on VHS and stuff like that. <laughs> so I told them, we took them out to dinner and I told them, you know, it's going to be exciting to hear you sing, finally, you know, in the studio later tonight. So I'll move through for right now. So they stand up <laughs> in this kind of hipster place, this restaurant, caps and backpacks and, you know, and, uh, and they sing. For the place. I'll never break your heart. And uh, I got the goosebumps. It was uh, it was amazing. And a lot of things changed after that night uh, for me. I was, you know, we, we we got to go along with you on a ride around the world. Amazing ride in music. Uh, a lot of things have changed. You now have babies. <laughs> Some things haven't changed. You look the same. <laughs> it's actually amazing. Not that uh, you know, weird in this part of the world, but still. <laughs> and, um, another thing that hasn't changed. We were in the studio a few weeks ago uh, recording a song, and uh, when these guys started to sing, I still got the goosebumps. They're simply amazing. So, when I got the, the, the question to come here to speak today, I want to take the. I felt that this is one, mo mo one more moment, my opportunity to say thank you to you guys, because you changed my life. And I'm gonna use uh, ABBA. I have a quote, I can do that because I'm Swedish. <laughs> Swedes can do that whenever they want. <laughs> Thank you for the music. All right. Thank you, Max. Now, the city of Los Angeles actually owns the Walk of Fame, and our city council